Hi, it's Michelle from Lab Muffin Beauty Science, chemistry PhD and owner of Pink Hair. I had purple and mauve hair for about six months, but the purple had really sunken its way in and I couldn't get it to the warm, peachy color that I really wanted. But I was a bit scared of just bleaching it because I had to bleach it twice the first time to get it to get to purple and so it was already pretty damaged. So here's how I did it. If you like this sort of video, give it a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss any videos. The dyes that I've been using are called direct dyes. These dyes have big pigment molecules that stick to the outside of the hair shaft and usually they'll wash away eventually. But sometimes the molecules absorb a bit too deep into the hair for it to wash out, which is what happened to me. The standard way of fading stained hair is by using bleach. The bleach breaks up the dye molecules which stops them from absorbing coloured light, which stops them from looking coloured. So for example, what I think was staining my hair was the dye Basic Violet 2, which absorbs light in the yellow and green regions. So when white light hits it, the yellow and the green get absorbed and the rest of the colour, mostly red and purple, it bounces off and that's what hits your eye and so that's what it looks like. But when bleach comes in and breaks up the dye molecule, it stops absorbing light in the visible colour range. The problem is that bleach damages your hair in a bunch of different ways. Bleach is an oxidizing agent and this causes a bunch of different types of damage called oxidative damage. Firstly, it breaks up disulfide bridges in your hair and this makes it a lot weaker and it breaks a lot more easily, especially in water. It swells up and it goes really floppy. Bleach also removes some of the fatty acids that are normally bound to the outside of your hair. And what this means is that your hair is less soft, less silky, it also tangles more easily and it doesn't hold onto hair conditioner as well. It also makes your hair more hydrophilic or water loving and this means that it swells more when it's wet and becomes much weaker. It also breaks up proteins in your hair which makes the hair cuticle chip away and this makes your hair dull and rough. But one of the biggest problems is despite all this damage it still might not completely work. So it might not break the dye molecules enough, it still absorbs light but now the light is different and so you end up with weird colours coming through. The method I'm using I found on the Hair Crazy website, it's called Katie's Direct Dye Fading Treatment and I've linked it in the description box. Before using the treatment, you should try to clarify your hair and repair it as much as possible. So I used a clarifying shampoo, I used Olaplex to try to repair the bonds and I avoided silicones in my hair products for a few days. Right now my hair is like this pale purplish colour, but the purple just won't leave. So what I'm going to try to do today is fade it down to a paler shade that I can turn peach later on. The first step is to apply coconut oil to dry hair and then wait for two hours. If anyone knows a method for getting liquid coconut oil onto your hair without it going everywhere, I would love it because it is literally dripping everywhere right now and it's going to be a pain to clean. Coconut oil has saturated fatty acids, which means that its structure is skinny enough to absorb between the cuticle scales of your hair. And this dissolves up some of the dye molecules and gets them out without any harshness. I'm only doing the treatment on half my hair, so we have a comparison to see how well it fades. All right, so that's pretty saturated now. I'm just gonna leave it for two hours. You make a mix of 15% ammonia-free bleach powder, 80% clarifying shampoo and 5% oils. Then you apply it over the oily hair so you don't rinse the oil out and work it through the hair like you're scrubbing it. I think this is the bit where you do end up damaging your hair a bit because you are physically scrubbing at your hair. The surfactants in the shampoo help lift the cuticle scales and the bleach powder which is alkaline with a high pH does as well. So now even though you're using all this bleach powder, it actually ends up at a lower concentration than you think. The shampoo doesn't really contain enough water to make it dissolve completely, and it doesn't work as a proper bleach unless the persulfate salt in it is dissolved. So some of it will act like bleach, but most of the bleach powder will actually act like a physical exfoliant, working the dye out of the hair. After scrubbing for about 5 minutes, you cap and warm it with a hairdryer for 5-10 to 10 minutes. I only did half my hair so I used cling wrap. 
The heat decreases the surface tension of all the liquids, so it soaks into the hair deeper, plus it lifts the cuticle a little bit again for deeper removal. Finally, you shampoo everything out in hot water. So I've let my hair air dry now and you can see there's a pretty big difference in colour. I'm actually really impressed by how different it looks. It's gotten a lot yellower, which is actually a good thing for me since I'm heading towards peach, which has a lot more yellow tones than my old purple. So here's the purple colour. Here's the treated version. My hair feels pretty rough, but it still feels pretty strong. So now I'm going to do the other side and then maybe do a second treatment and hopefully that will fade it even more. And then yeah, I'll be ready to re-dye my hair. I ended up doing two rounds of the treatment for each side of my hair before re-dyeing it to a peach colour, which you've probably seen on some of my other videos. I hope you liked this video, if you did give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe to my channel as well. Leave me a comment letting me know what else you want me to talk about next. You can also follow me on Instagram and check out my blog for more beauty science. See you next time.